Hey, hey, what's up? You, you're that new uh, pro hero that just emerged recently, right? You saved all those people in that building with uh, that quirk you got. Let me tell you, that is one hell of a quirk if I might, might say myself. Yes, I'm serious. <laughs> I'm not trying to flatter you, I'm being serious. I wish I had a quirk like that, honestly. I mean, shape-shifting? That's, uh, that's pretty badass. The way you can just shape-shift and blend in is just crazy. I mean, that's probably why you got to other people so quick, because the villains didn't even know you were there. I'm impressed. For someone who's a newcomer, it's, it's nice to see a fresh face. Anyway, my name's Hawks. It's nice to meet you. So, uh, have you had any troubles lately? Need a workout buddy or anything? <laughs> I didn't think so. You're, uh, you seem to be in shape quite enough. I wouldn't want you to overpower me, considering how uh, cute and small you are, huh, girly? <laughs> I'm kidding. Hey, 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 I'm kidding. Relax. I know, just because you're short doesn't mean you aren't capable of holding your own. So, what do you say we get to know each other? I mean, after all, we are going to be partners. I know, I can't believe it either. I didn't think I would need a partner, but as much as I hate to admit it, I think you and I could get along just good. Come on, let's uh, talk about it over something to eat or something. Oh. You know what? I actually like the idea of getting a cup of coffee better. Let's do that. Alright, here we are. Uh, this is the best coffee place in town that I could think of. Well, yeah, I had to, you know, do my, you know, <laughs> take it to the best. I mean, we are going to be partners and I don't want you to think I'm some, uh, some cheap-ass bitch or something. <laughs> I'm serious. I didn't want you to think I was cheap or something. I mean, I want to show you that uh, I spoil myself and uh, I can spoil others. Well, I am going to spoil you. Well, I mean, this isn't a date or anything, but uh, you are my new partner, so I figured I might as well make you feel welcomed. Unless that's a problem. What do you mean it's a problem? I I'm not saying that you're not capable of paying for yourself. I just thought maybe it would be nice of me. But fine. I'll take my charity and go somewhere else. I'm kidding. I'm not just gonna leave you here. I'm kidding. Relax. Relax. I'm not just gonna leave you here. I won't do that. Come on. <laughs> Let's get some coffee. I can't believe that you drink that stuff. You know, with all the sugar and shit in it. Just... Okay, I guess I can't talk because I've had it too and it is pretty good, but... Ain't nothing wrong with just a black coffee. It's... I don't know, the bitter taste makes me feel more alive, in a sense. Well, I mean, I guess having some sweet ain't so bad, but... A bitter taste, uh... I don't know, it just... I feel like I'm more awake. But, are you enjoying your coffee? Good, good. So, uh, how about I get to know you a bit? So what exactly, uh, made you want to be a hero and all? Hmm. You know what? That's, uh, that's actually a good point. Well, way to, you know, find out who did that to you then to be a hero and hunt them down and kick their ass. <laughs> Well, me, it's, it's, uh, it's a little complicated for me, but I, I won't get into it with you. Uh, what about your parents? Um, what about them? How are they? What are they like? Wh I, I, uh, meet them? No, uh, I couldn't Oh, uh, I see. Oh, <laughs> you're cracking jokes. Okay, you know what? Two could play at that game. Well... 
if I didn't know any better, I think that you were flirting with me. I mean, I'm not going to complain. I mean, uh, I don't mind it, especially with a girl like you. I mean, that's, well, that's a one in a lifetime opportunity right there. Are you not, are you not in a relationship? Because I, you know, not gonna lie, I find that a little hard to believe. You're not. <laughs> well, shit, by the end of this, you might be. <laughs> I'm kidding. Sorry to make y'all embarrassed, but I just can't resist. Anyway, uh, moving on from that. Uh, my, uh, you know, I, I don't really want to talk about my personal life. Well, at least childhood. I mean, it was a little rough. That's, that's to put it lightly. Um, I guess yours wasn't any better from what you described, but, uh, I get a little emotional when I talk about mine. Uh, and I don't want to see you see me crying on the floor of the coffee shop. That'd be a little embarrassing. But, you know, maybe another time I could open myself up a bit more to you. Not like that I don't think you're cool or anything. I just, it just takes a lot. I'm glad you understand. I think you might be the first person to understand that I just can't open up to anyone. Though I did just call you cute and all. Anyway, <laughs> tell me even more about yourself. Oh. That's inspiration for your costume, huh? You know, I can see it. Yeah, I, I like the colors. To, I mean, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, Eraser's pretty cool. So I guess it would make sense that you kind of designed it off of that, though it is a simple design, but, I mean, it works. Though it looks like you're a little bit inspired by, perhaps... Oh, I don't know, me, maybe? What do I mean? Well, the glasses? I mean, if I'm not mistaken, I think we might have the same color, even. No, don't you play dumb with me. You didn't think that I've noticed? Not only do you look like a miniature version of a racer, you have aspects of me in your costume. First of all, the color concept is... Well, a mixture of me. I mean, the black is obviously probably from Azawa, but... The blonde tan is... Well, that associates with me. I've taken on the liberty of having that color, so... <laughs> and the red from my wings, of course, I... Maybe I'm just being a little cocky, but I just can't help but notice that it's a little bit of inspiration for me. I mean, I'm not gonna complain. I mean, I'm flattered, really, that you would t go so far as to base your outfit off of me, Anazawa, but mostly me. It's just flattering. No, don't get all embarrassed. I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to make you embarrassed, but I was just pointing it out. I'm not dumb. I know things. So you're going to admit it. It is an inspiration for both me and Eraser. Well, I'm flattered. And I'm sure Eraser would be too. Maybe. He probably wouldn't care. Anyway, I am flattered. A lot. I'm flattered that you think that I am worthy of it. And I must say, I like the colors on you a lot too. Red is, uh... Ooh, that suits you great. <laughs> I am not disappointed by it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, I don't really know why I decided to take up the blonde, tan, and, you know, basic look. Just felt like I... I don't know, I felt like it was me, or something. Well, besides my hair being blonde, but... Mostly I just felt like it was a nice color on me. And the red with my wings, it kind of matched a bit. Oh, you know, that's the first time I've ever heard someone say that about my wings. Well, thank you. They are pretty, aren't they? But they're sensitive, so no, you're not going to touch them. They're sensitive in certain spots, meaning I get chills and shivers down my spine. It's like having uh, someone do that thing with their finger on your back, you know, you go down their spine. It's kind of like that. I don't know what that's called, but it, it just imagine that except with wings instead. They get pretty sensitive. Oh, in battle, well, 
I try not to, you know, get too hurt with them. Yeah, I've had injuries with my wings, but it's nothing serious. I still fly and I still do my thing. No need to be so worried. I'm fine. The worst injury I've had is some of my feathers falling out, but they ended up growing back just like hair would. It's okay. No worry about it. Uh, you are such a worried wart. <laughs> I am fine. Uh, I don't know if I... Th I don't know if you should feel them. Again, they're sensitive and... No, it's not gonna happen. I said no. Wh hey, wh you can't just try to re... I said stop it. St listen. Uh, hey. <laughs> Alright, enough. I can't believe you chased me all the way out of the coffee shop. Hey, you are crazy, aren't you? <laughs> I like that. Uh, well, I guess you can feel my hair. That's not sensitive. Fine, go ahead. Hmm. Yeah, it is soft, isn't it? <laughs> hmm. Huh? Well, hell yeah, I enjoy it. <laughs> Everyone likes their hair being played with. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. It feels good. I feel I'm getting a massage or something. So thank you. Well, now you messed it up. Look. <laughs> what do you mean it was already messed up? It was not. Ugh. Yeah, I should... I should do something. I'll get my revenge. Maybe I'll... Do some... I don't know. I'll do something. Wherever the hell you're sensitive at, I'll... I'll try to touch that. Uh, okay, yeah, that sounded a little weird. <laughs> anyway. Would you like me to... Take you back to your place? I can fly us there pretty easy. Yeah, yeah, it's not a problem at all. I mean... It's the least I could do. I'm not just gonna leave you out here in the middle of... Well, you probably don't know where you are. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> yeah, just come here. <sighs> well, yeah, I'm gonna pick you up. What, you, what do you expect me just to let you dangle? <laughs> You're ridiculous. Come on. <sighs> Alright. I believe this is the right place you said, right? That's what I thought. Alright. Well, uh, it was nice to talk to you and hang out. Well, I'm glad you feel the same. Yeah, we could, we could absolutely get to know each other better. Perhaps, um, later this week we can go, uh, get some lunch or something. No, it's not in a date way. I never said it was a date. I just, uh, I mean, unless you want to make it a date. Oh, yeah? Well, then, it's a date. I'll pick you up on Wednesday. And we'll go someplace nice. I'll take you to somewhere that uh, Endeavor showed me, actually. No, it's nothing bad. I know, knowing him, it's fair, but I promise it's really nice. So remember to dress nice, too. Dress in the nicest way you can think of. I want you to outshine everybody when we walk in the doors. <laughs> I'm serious. I want you to outshine every single woman in there. I just... I want to show you off. <laughs> Alright. Um, I'll see you later. Oh, well, wait a minute. Uh, here. This is my number. I mean... <laughs> and you're going to need it if, you're, if we're going to go on a date. And one more thing. Kago. My real name is Kago.